Hello all, welcome to day three of the Artsy Babe Coalition movement. My name is Olivia and I will be posting videos every Wednesday for you to view and hopefully enjoy and share and, and maybe even be inspired by. Um, so this week, all of the Artsy Babes were asked to address about 10 questions to kind of introduce ourselves and um, give a little insight into who we are as artists, what we're inspired by, what we're working on and things like that. Um, but before I get to the questions, I kind of just want to preface it by saying a few things. Uh, first of all, I want to express how humbled and honored I am that Kyra asked me to be a part of this. Um, I honestly, like, I view Kyra as being just such a, an inspiring and driven and um, focused artist. And not to mention how extraordinarily talented she is. Um, so I'm very, very excited to be working on this project with her and with the other artsy babes that are involved. Um, also, I would like to kind of just take a moment and acknowledge how badass those glasses were that Kyra had on in the first video. Like, if you haven't checked out the first video, check out the first video. Her glasses are badass. Like, I need those glasses. Kyra, I need those glasses. Like, those are dope. Um... So, like I said, I'm very, very excited to be working uh, with her and with the other women and excited about the potential for this movement to kind of just encourage women to be their full and fabulous artistic selves with no reservations and no hesitations. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention before I get to the questions is um, that this is the first time I've ever, like, done a video of myself. Um, I've, I've never done this before, so I'm understandably just a little nervous. Um, okay, maybe not so much nervous, but it's more so like just this kind of apprehension about the fact that like right now I'm literally, I'm sitting in my bedroom by myself, talking to myself. That's odd. Like this is weird. It's, it's weird. I'm staring at my computer screen, talking to myself. It's just gonna take a little getting used to. Um, so I hope, you know, as the weeks progress, I will get a little more comfortable with this process. And, you know, if I don't, then I hope you guys enjoy staring at my awkward ass every week, making a fool out of myself. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get to the questions. First question, where are you from? I am from Vallejo. Yeah. Uh, not really much more I can say about that, um, other than the fact that uh, Vallejo was named one of the top 25 most dangerous places to live. Go Vallejo! Um, but no, in all honesty, you know, I, I um, feel very nostalgic about Vallejo. I was born and raised there. I lived there um, until I was about, I think, 19, maybe 20. Um, so I, I have a love for Vallejo, um, and I appreciate the, the memories that I have from, from being raised there. Um, however, I will never ever live there again, <laughs> um, and, uh, but, and, but I enjoy being close enough to visit. Um, I think that, that uh, living in Oakland now, um, I see so much more than I did when I was living in Vallejo. Like there's just so much more culture and so much art and so many different people and um, from different walks of life. And it's just, it's just a beautiful culmination of, of, you know, there's the history in Oakland. Like there's just, there's just a lot um, to appreciate about living in Oakland. Um, but like I said, I appreciate Vallejo for, you know, raising, helping to raise me into the woman that I am today. Um, next question, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Um, and don't get it twisted, like it's not because I have an obsession with money or I smoke a lot of weed or anything like that. Like I just I just like the color green. It's like it's very aesthetically uh, aesthetically pleasing to me and um, I'm just naturally kind of drawn to that color. Uh, no specific shade, just all colors of green. Um, next question is, um, what is your definition of art? I feel almost cliche by saying this, but I I, I truly believe that um, there's just art. There's art in everything. I um I, you know I, when I think about art, I I find it so hard to limit it to one specific definition um, because art is not simply just you know paint hitting a canvas or you know a sketch pad and a pencil. There's there's just so many different 
things um, that are considered art, like if you think about a makeup artist, that's art. If you think about language arts, like a poet or a writer, that's art. A musical artist, a fashion designer, a stylist, like it's all, it's all art. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's so great ab about art is that there's something for everyone. Like we all kind of have this creative energy within us. Um, it's just a matter of finding the the path that that best facilitates us expressing ourselves um, artistically. Uh, next question: Who is your favorite artist? Um, hmm. One of my favorite artists would definitely have to be M.C. Escher. Um, he's a Dutch graphic artist, and if you have never seen any of his work, you ought to Google him because he's dope. Um, he, yeah, he just does some really amazing things with lithographs and uh, wood carvings and things like that. He's dope. Um, also, you know, like I said, I feel like art um, it spans a number of different areas. Um, so. I would also have to say that Langston Hughes is one of my favorite artists. If you don't know who that is, he is um, an, a Harlem Renaissance era poet. Um, and like I said, you know, language arts, it's an art. And the way that he's able to put words together, like it's just very beautiful and very inspiring. Um, I love to read his work. I love to teach his work. He's just an amazing, amazing poet and writer. Um, let's see, next question is, Three words that describe me. Well, number one, as if I had to say this, I'm awkward. Like, I'm awkward as hell. I'm tall and lanky and I run into things and I trip a lot and I say the wrong things at the wrong time. And that's just, I'm just all like, just all kind of awkward. But you know, I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with being this big, lanky, awkward, like big hair, big mouth. Like, I'm just hella awkward. I'm okay with it. Um, let's see. Another word to describe me would probably be observant. Um, in other words, I'm kind of like just a creepy ass people watcher. Like I'm that chick at the cafe that's just staring at people. Like I'm a creep. I I I stare, but it's not so much like like creeping. I don't know. It's not like a negative connotation, creepy ass people watcher, but more so like, I don't know. I just think people do such beautiful things when they don't know that anyone's watching. Like I love to watch a father with his son, you know, just talking to him or helping him tie his shoe or, or like an, an elderly couple. Like, I don't know. I just, I like to watch people. I like to see, um, cause I feel like even if I can't hear what they're saying, I can kind of see a little bit of who they are. Um, just based on their actions when they think that nobody is watching. Um, third word to describe me would probably be hmm, quirky. Mm, I'm really quirky. Like I've, I, I have just, there's these certain specifics in my life that have to be that way. And if they don't, I feel very off kilter. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I, I could go on and on about my little things, um, but I won't. <laughs> I'll spare you that. Um, next question. What is your contribution to the artsy community? Um, right now I, I, uh, contribute in two primary ways. Um, the first of which is, um, I'm embarking on a new business venture. Um, I'm opening up an online thrift store, um, romperclothing.com coming soon. Yes, that was a shameless self plug. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm opening an online thrift store and we are going to focus on um, providing accessible and affordable and sustainable fashion for people. Um, also, the other way that I contribute um, is that I teach. Um, I don't teach an art class, but I teach a poetry writing class. And like I said, I, I, I firmly believe that language arts, like it's it's a form of art. Uh, to be a wordsmith is to be an artist. Um, and I, I teach a poetry writing class at the middle school level. Um, and I also teach um, a poetry writing class at the high school level as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's my, that's my contribution, the two main aspects of my contribution. Uh, next question. What does being an artsy babe mean to you? Um, for me, being an artsy babe, uh, it, it, it means 
like I said, it means being able to just like fully kind of express myself with no reservations and no hesitations. Um, just be able, being able to wake up and throw on whatever I want and, and do my makeup however I want and wear my hair as big as I want and, and, um, still feel comfortable in my skin and, and, and be okay with, uh, people not quite understanding or accepting who I am. Like, that's just, you know, I think that art is always up for interpretation and artsy people are always up for interpretation as well. Um, and not everyone's going to like it and some people will love it. Not everyone's going to understand it and that's okay. Uh, let's see. Next question. What are you currently inspired by? Um, I would have to say that I'm most inspired right now by, um, by my students. Um, I went for quite some time, like struggling with this extreme and debilitating writer's block. Um, but with the encouragement and uh, support of my students, I've kind of been able to overcome this. And also it's just, you know, teaching, being able to teach them and then see these beautiful works that they're producing. Um, it's very, it's just very inspirational for me. Uh, so that's, uh, that's definitely mm, my most primary inspiration at this point right now. Uh, next question. What are you currently creating? Um, I'm in this scarf, like I'm on this kind of scarf hype right now. And I think it's probably because it's been hella cold outside. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a lot. Uh, I've been making a lot of scarves and kind of just discovering new ways to like embellish them and add a little flair and a little something different to them. Um, so that's actually been very exciting. Um, more so exciting also because um, it's something that my daughter is into as well. So we're able to kind of share this this time where, um, you know, we're able to create art together. Um, and it's kind of, it's, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to do that. Um, last question, how are you currently expressing yourself artistically? Um, well, like I said, uh, I'm making a lot of scarves and also um, putting together this website for the online store um, is taking, I mean, it takes a lot of artistic a talent to kind of make something that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, also, I think that one of the primary ways that I express myself artistically on a day-to-day -day basis is just through the clothes that I wear, um, kind of picking clothes from different eras and putting them together or mixed prints or, or gaudy jewelry or, you know, whatever. That's, that's kind of um, one of the primary ways that I express myself artistically. Um, Okay, so that is the end of the questions, and I got through that without stuttering too bad or making too much of a fool of myself. Um, so I hope that you guys will tune in tomorrow and Friday for the other two artsy babes that will be posting their videos. And I also hope you'll, you know, turn it, tune in next week. I'll be back on Wednesday, um, and I look forward to hearing feedback, and I hope you all have a great night. Peace out.